Hello Dreamers, how are you doing? Today I've got a shocking news for you, which is in regards to IDP India. So of course it is in regards to IELTS. Now this news will raise serious and big question over the credibility and the process of IDP India. So if you want to know the news, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia, without paying hefty fee to the consultants. Please visit my channel, I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I regularly upload videos every week, so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Now, around one and a half months ago, I posted this video. However, this video has got nothing to do with the news that I'm going to tell you in, in this video. But still, this video raised some questions over the process of uh, IDP, and British Council in India. This had you know more than 700 comments and uh, most of the people actually said, more than 90% of people said, you know, agree with my point, uh, which what I said. Even IELTS official actually responded over here and they said that uh, IELTS scores are not manipulated thanks to our stringent and globally standardized procedures. Now, last week what has happened that a shocking news have actually come out. Let me show it to you. This is a picture of a Hindi newspaper, by the way, and it's in Hindi, so most people would, wouldn't understand it. I would quickly translate it. It says that questions have been raised against the process and credibility of IDP for doing IELTS. Now, it has exaggerated the news. It says that the you know, people who have done IELTS uh, from IDP won't be able to go to Canada, but uh, it's not the case. I would not sensationalize this news over here. Now, this news is in regards to Niagara College, actually. They found that some of their students didn't have, you know, that level of language proficiency, which was actually required to be there. And they got good marks in the IELTS test, but they conducted a test over there, you know, internal test. And they found that people, uh, mostly Indians, were, you know, they were quite bad in English. So they've raised this question. Now, this is in Hindi. So let's check out what is there in English. I found the news in English as well. Now, because I couldn't check the credibility of that picture, so I decided to Google it and I found this link. Now, this is the star.com and what they have to say is that they're the Canada's largest daily newspaper. So I guess we can trust their news. Now, what did they have to say? Let's check it out. They say more than 400 students in India told to retake language test after Niagara College flags concerns. They've specifically mentioned over here the details. Let's just read it out. Niagara College has contacted more than 400 students admitted to its January 2019 programs who had taken IELTS, telling them they had to undergo a second English test or risk losing their offer of admission. Now, they've mentioned very specifically over here that Steve Hudson, Niagara's College Vice President of Academic and Learning Services, said the school launched an investigation this fall after the number of first-year international students flagged by a faculty for being at risk academically surged to 300 from an average of 150 in previous years. Those students were made to take an in-house language test and the college found 200 out of that group were failing in their academic programs because their English was not at the required level. Further investigations found 80% of them were from India and had taken their IELTS test at locations run by IDP India. So this is something which raises concerns, doubts about the credibility of work done by IDP India. However, further ahead, they have said, you know, they've got the clarifications from IDP India as well. So the Niagara College actually communicated this to the, uh, the MD of uh, IDP education and they have given the clarification over here. Now, whatever this may be, but this is certainly a big black mark on the credibility of the test conducted by IDP India because they have clearly mentioned over here that they would be taking the tests again. I'll provide the link in the description box. If you want, you can uh, check this news out. There's a, uh, you know, this reporter has actually reported it and it's uh, around one and a half minute video. You can also check it out. They've mentioned very specifically over here that 
you know they'd be you know they'd be asked uh, all those students have been asked to appear for the test again and uh, the niagara college will actually bear the cost of uh, all of those students taking the test again but because they want you know quality students in their college so they have taken this call now what was interesting to see was this ad in again in hindi newspaper and it might be the same newspaper i'm not very sure but this was now from idp actually the same guy from managing director of ielts idp education and it was to ensure the trust of people in the organization they said that idp adheres the to the highest of standards in every country they operate so uh, this there is something fishy which is going on i'm not very sure i don't want to comment as well what you people think please comment down below what's going on here with the idp uh with the ielts in india because you know a few days ago in my video there were so many people who commented that you know they actually agree with what i had to say and they've also felt the same way and here now a reputed college has actually raised their fingers on uh, the quality that idp is actually delivering so what do you guys feel about it please comment down below so thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and please comment down below